Hello, I'm Tiffany from YouTube page Tiffany Juliet, and I'm going to show you how to put a harp string on a harp. The first part of the video is how to make a knot on the string. And then the second part, I'm going to show you how to actually put the string onto a harp. Please subscribe to my page, Tiffany Juliet. And thank you for watching. Today we are working on putting a harp string on a harp. I have an 85E Lion and Healy pedal harp, that harp right there, and that's me, in a harp ensemble playing Canon and D. If you enjoy my music, please subscribe to my page, Tiffany Juliet. So today we are do making, we're doing second octave E, nylon. And this string is by Vanderbilt. So the way that we are going to do this is we're going to start off with making a knot. And the tools that we need are your key for your harp to, to tune it. And you're going to need a flashlight, a pair of scissors or nail clippers, and you're going to need your harp string, and you're going to need the end of a harp string that you get, string ends, which is this. And you can just take a, a thick string, harp string, and cut it to the size that you want, or you can ask Lion and Healy or Vanderbilt to um, give you some when you order harp strings. Okay, so we're going to make this on yours. I hope you can see this well, even though the string is transparent. Right now I'm just tightening it. I put a knot in it and I put a knot into the harp end string and we're going to be double knotting it. It's not necessary but it's a very good idea to do that. It is hard to tighten this at first because the string is very stiff Okay, so now we've got that. Okay, I hope that this is showing. You can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and then after we have made the first knot, we're going to do it again. And that is how you do it. show you how to put this onto the harp. And then you're just going to take your clippers and you're going to trim this. And you've got two knots here. Oh, it's right here. And this is the, the, the string with the knot on the end. And we're going to Pull this up like that. Okay. 
And the easiest way to do this is to put the string through on the other side of the soundboard. And then while you're sitting at your harp, make the knot. That's a lot easier than to make your knot and then put the string in through this direction. You wanna do it through the other direction. And it makes it a lot simpler. We have put the string through this part right here. And we're going to pull up a little bit. Now, we want to talk about tension a little bit. You need a loose tension right here. This is right where my hand is right here. You need loose, you need to pull this forward, okay? That, that's very important. Not too much. Now, like if you were doing a string down here on the bottom of the harp, you would want it to be pulled out about that far. But because we're doing the string up on top, you're going to want uh, it to be about like right there. Then this, depending on how loose or tight, depends is going to make it how many times you're going to wrap around the pin. And the pin you want wrapped around three times. If you have a pedal harp, you're going to want to put your pedal in the up position in flat. And you can see that I've got this string pulled out. That's the key. So first you put you, you put it through the pin, and then you put the you put the tail underneath here, like how I just showed you, and then you're going to take this string and pull it forward like that. And that's going to uh, create a knot for when you are tightening up your pin. And you are on your pedal harp, you are going to go, you're going to push the key away from your body. have just put the string on the harp and we still have a long tail and we're going to trim that and you're going to cut it short right up against the pin with a nail clip file. A nail clipper would probably be the best. Scissors were probably not a good idea because you might possibly scratch the wood part of the harp. So one thing that I wanted to mention when tuning your harp is you have this, you have your, your key here that you're gonna be tuning. And when you have this key in on these pins, you never wanna let go of this pin, of your key, because it's very easily for this to fall and, and, and go like that, hit your harp, and possibly uh, put a dent in that harp. So you always want to, you want to have your hand on the key. And what I had mentioned before, that when you're going to be tuning, when you're, when you're uh, putting the string on the harp, I had said, move the, move the key away from you. I meant in that direction. So um, we're going to be um, tuning it now with our tuner. So I would just tune it regularly by putting it into the um, not flat or not sharp, but put the pedal in the middle. And then we're going to um, plug the string and we're going to tune it.
then every time that you're going to tune and you're going to move the key, you want to make sure that you put the, the uh, pedal in the out position, in the flat. Now you're going to notice that you're going to have to be sharpening this or perhaps flat you can turn it the other direction and flat depending on how much you um, turned the key when you were putting um, the string on. And then you're, then you're going to notice also that as soon as you get it in tune, it's going to go right out of tune, like immediately, like, with, like within a, the first minute or two. And you're going to have to keep repeating that over and over until you um, get, have your string in tune. And then um, you might come back a half hour later and we'll be out of tune again. So you want to keep going to your harp throughout the day and uh, re-putting it in tune and you might notice that even maybe even the next day it'll still be out of tune and what's going on there is that your string is stretching and it's stretching to the um, to the key that you want this harp to be in so like for example I, I have D I'm doing D string right now and so it's going to be going into C it's going to be going flat a lot. And you're going to want to use your tuner or your stroke tuner for that. Thank you for watching.